It's a beautiful spring morning here in Washington, D.C. at Fletcher's Cove along the Potomac River. We're only a few miles from downtown Washington, D.C. And this, the fishermen are out. This is a great place for locals to fish, to boat, canoeing. And this is uh, right now the, the, chat, the shad are running, the hickory shad. They only come up here for the fishing once a year, and that's really thanks to the Potomac River Basin's restoration work. They're truly a fisherman's delight. And just upstream from here is the Little Falls drinking water intake. It provides the drinking water for me and my family and community, which is just a couple of miles uphill from here as well. This is a great place to really think about how dependent we are down here, downstream on the Potomac River, dependent upon communities upstream, scores of communities in Virginia, Maryland, and even as far as West Virginia. The decisions they make about their waters and keeping them clean and healthy dictate the water quality and the fishing and the cleanliness of the streams and the health of the communities down here. And that's why I'm so glad that the Environmental Protection Agency and the Corps of Engineers have acted just this week to restore protections to all the little streams and wetlands upstream of here in the Potomac watershed that really help clean the water that we rely on downstream here on the Potomac. The Clean Water Act is so important to having uniform standards up and down the watershed. And if we all will just get in the same clean water boat together and row in the right direction, we can be sure that the water will be clean and the fishing will still be running here at Fletcher's Cove in generations to come.